Hi guys, welcome to this video. Um, the E36 has actually been in for its MOT and it has failed. So um, in this video we're going to explore, well I'm going to show you and keep you up to date with the project car um, and show you the repairs we've had to do to keep it going. So hope you enjoy. If you do, hit a like and a subscribe, let us know in the bit below. And also if you've got any comments on it or any questions, by all means give us a shout. And also there will be a couple of repair videos coming from this one. So keep your eyes out and uh, they'll be coming shortly. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys. So let's start with the welding. First nice day we've had in a while, and um, yeah, back on the E36 behind me, do a few more MOT repairs. Um, so yeah, thought I'd just uh, catch you up today. It's uh, been a few days, and it's been a lot of days of rain, but we've actually got some sunshine. So yeah, let's get on with it. Right at the wheels up, I wanted to show you um, one of the MOT fails. This one's pretty bad, wasn't it? That's the bottom arm um, out of board weight. I say I can't. Um, it's definitely not steering stuff because I changed all that last year. Same with the new springs; these are brand new last year. So new bottom arms, new anti roll bar links in the front, and I've got to swap out the brakes and new tyres for the back. Here's the back tyres uh, on the legal limit, so we're getting them changed out. Um, and also the handbrake apparently fluctuates one side so I'm going to show you how to adjust up the handbrake on an E36. this on the back side of it it's an old it's an old um, retaining clip for drum brakes that I had off of another car that I was working on a friend's car um, I always keep old parts so they can be salvaged or reused again I mean this isn't the proper way to repair this but it might be something that will buy me a bit of time to get one of these delivered for the MOT so and what it will is this piece should go I'll put this on the back like a washer I should go through it twist hold it if anything it'll just make the spring a tiny bit tighter which ain't the end of the world I'm honest I'm not too worried about so
rod. Show you. I don't know if you can see it very well, but up here is where the washer is. It looks a bit dented and a bit battered to get it in. But so now you can move these around. It doesn't pop through. It's not going to. I mean, it's not. It's not very good repair, I would say, but it's one that will keep it going to get through MOT for now. And uh, yeah, and it will. Um, what I'll do is I'll order a new one of these backing plates. I'll order a new pair, and I'll just replace these. Um, Later day, but it gives me a bit of time now to sort it out. So. Now, back together. Car parts day! This package arrived yesterday for the E36. I can open it quickly. Have a look. Rear bushes. Got arms for the front of the 36, so I'll be out there fitting them later and recording it for the YouTube channel. So I know it's sad, but even parts like this make me excited. Like a big kid at Christmas. Hey guys, welcome to day three of the uh, repairs on the E36. Yeah, so I'm going to do bottom arms today, anti-roll bar links, hopefully get the tyres done because they're waiting for me down in Bridge End, and um, hopefully it should be ready for a retest. Right, so the first thing you're going to have to do is take the wheels off. Um, as you can see, I've already done that on this one. So, um, yeah, the uh, Welsh weather has completely rained me out. Um, yeah, as normal. So I've got the arm off of the uh, Beamer, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit too wet. It's absolutely hammering down. I've got no way of uh, keeping myself dry um, out here. So instead of that, I'm in the uh, truck. I've got the wheels in the boot, and I'm going to be taking them down to my friends at King David Tires, who are going to swap them over for me. Um, so that'll be another failure done. And then on the way back, I'm going to try and pop in to grab the rest of the parts I need for the car. I've not actually driven this thing for a while, my wife's been driving it daily, but she hasn't told me that the wipers are this bad. Tiny bit better, still not amazing, the driver's side's fantastic now. Passenger side's still a bit jiggly poker though, so. Yeah, they all loaded up, all sorted, they did a superb job. Uh, honestly, if you need tyres around the Bridgend area, I could not recommend these guys enough. Uh, brilliant. King David Tyres down on Waterton Industrial Estate. Come and give them a shout. So to start with, we're going to be fitting this new arm.
So here we are, here's the bottom arm all fitted. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do now is uh, put the anti-roll bar link back in. So that is the complete thing, putting it back on. Complete sort of linkage all set up, ready to go back into the car. new rubber, all sorted, ready to go. So, turn the wheels back on there. As you can see behind me, hopefully, um, the E36 should be finally back on all fours. Um, Everything's all done on it, thank goodness, even with all those downpours and everything like that. So she is back, ready to be MOT'd now, um, which is fantastic, can't wait, just got to send her in for a test. And then she's back on the road. And Hi, so uh, welcome to the inside of Lois, the E36. Um, she's just come back from her second garage visit, a second MOT, second tester and second failure it's a long story if you've been following the rest of my social media you will have seen that uh, she went in for an MOT last month and failed uh, I brought her home and between work and other projects I've been fixing it uh, I did everything on the list everything on the failure list it went back in for another MOT today and the picky MOT tester decided to fail it on some new things ah, so here we are on the third and hopefully final MOT day for this car to get it back on the road for another 12 months now um, I didn't actually film the uh, me doing the brake disc back in place, but I have actually replaced them. Um, on the day I did them, it was horrible weather. I didn't want to bother setting the cameras up as well to make everything harder. And I was doing it out in the driveway on my back. So, yeah, I didn't want to just make that, draw that out any longer than I had to. So, that has been done. I've also re-secured one of the heat shields that's hanging down underneath that I didn't realise. And also, like, I think I have another way to the MOT because I've never actually seen that. And uh, also, then I've actually resecured that and taken down some of the soundproofing that was rubbing on the prop shaft. So now we are on our way. Hey everybody, 
Uh, welcome to the inside of the E36, uh, also known as Lois. Um, I'm happy to say that she did pass MOT before Christmas. Um, I had a, a quick rush to get those last few things finished. There will be some videos coming up, how-to videos as well, how to do um, anti-roll bar links, bottom arms, things like that on this car, which will, should hopefully help some of you out. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased to say she did make the deadline before Christmas, so we had the car on the road for then. Um, so I'm really happy now, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's, uh, yeah, everything's all done and dusted, and I'm just really glad to have this thing back on the road, because it's been a nightmare not having it around. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you've got any questions or comments you'd like to make, by all means, fire them below. Um, don't forget to follow us on other social medias as well. Um, they will be coming up on the screen shortly. And, um, yeah, I shall see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. Take care.